So now moving on to the next kind of experiment. This is also an experiment that you will be faced with a lot while solving problems of probability. So in this experiment, what we are doing is we have taken some different colored balls and we have put them all in a bag. And now we draw a single or two balls at random from the bag. So if you look at the question that we have here is, so the question tells us that in a bag, we have put five yellow balls, four red balls, and seven green balls. So we've put a total of 16 balls in the bag. And out of this bag, we draw two balls at random, one after the other without replacing. So what does this mean? This means that in the, in the bag in which we have 16 different balls, what we have done is we take out one ball out of the bag and we find that this one ball that we have drawn out of the bag is green in color. So we keep this ball aside and then we again draw out a ball from the bag. And this ball is a different ball than the one that we have kept aside. So we don't replace that ball, the first ball that we have drawn into the bag before drawing the second ball. So now the question that we, have, we are facing is, we have to find the probability that the second ball that we draw out of the bag is red in color if the first ball that we drew was green in color. So now we'll again create the PCC to analyze this problem. And the first thing that we'll look at is what is the experiment that we're performing. So the experiment that we are doing here is, we take the bag in which we put all these 16 balls and then we draw out one ball and we keep it aside. And then we draw the second ball. So the experiment that we are performing is that we draw two balls without replacement from the bag. Now the next thing that we figure out is we need to find what is the sample space associated with this experiment. So now here we are doing two steps. So in the first step, we took out a green ball and we have kept it aside. So now in the bag, we are left with five yellow balls and four red balls and six green balls because one of the green balls we have taken out and kept aside. So, so now think how many balls are there in the bag and what, what forms our sample space. So the experiment that, are performing, that we are performing is drawing a single ball out of this new bag. So what is the sample space here? So yeah, the sample space is going to be any of the balls, any of the 15 balls which are now present in the bag. So if I draw any ball out, I'll be faced with an option of five yellow balls. So there'll be yellow ball one, two, three, four, and five. So there are five yellow balls now in the bag. And then we have four red balls. So four red balls. And now since we have taken one green ball out already, we have six green balls in the sample space, in the bag. So now the sample space consists of these 15 balls, out of which five are yellow, four are red, and six are green. So now what is the favorable event here? So the favorable event now is drawing of a red ball out of the new bag that we have. So, so think about it. How many cases are there in which we are drawing a red ball out of the bag? Or what is the favorable event? What is the set of favorable events that we have? So if you think about it, the favorable event will be drawing any one of the red balls which are now remaining in the bag. Right, so if we look at the sample space, we can see that these balls are yellow in color. So these form a non-favorable set. So these balls are green in color. So these are also non-favorable to our event. So the favorable balls that we can draw for our event to be true are any of these four balls. So the favorable event set will consist of these four balls. which are red in color. So now we have to calculate the number of favorable events. So we know that the number of favorable events is the total number of elementary events present in the favorable event set. So if we look at the favorable event set, which we have already figured out, we see that there are four different cases, four different elementary events, which are present in 
the favorable event set. So we have four different, so the number of favorable events that we have are four. Now think about what, what is going to be the total number of events. So in the first case, when we are drawing out the ball, what was the, when we are drawing out the first ball, what was the total number of events? So it was 16, right? Because initially we had taken 16 balls. But now since we have taken out one ball and kept it aside, what is the total number of events that can happen? So now the total number of events that can happen are 15 because one ball is already kept aside. So now we have a collection of 15 different balls in the bag. So the total number of elementary events that can happen are any one of these events which are present in the sample space. So this is a total of 15. So the number of total events are 15. So now that now we know all the information that this question tells us. So now we have to figure out the probability. So we know that the probability is the number of favorable events upon the number of total events. So the probability of drawing the second ball as being red in color is the number of favorable events to that event which is 4 upon the number of total events that can happen. So the number of total elementary events that can happen are all the elements in the sample space which is 15. So the probability of drawing the second ball out of the bag as a ball red in color, if the first ball drawn from the bag was green in color, turns out to be 4 by 15. So now let's try to solve another type of question which can be formed in the same kind of experiment. So let's have a look at the question. So the question here says that a bag contains 5 yellow balls, 4 red balls and the 7 green balls. So this is, the this is a very similar setting to what we had in the previous question. Now two balls are drawn at random one after the other without replacing. What is the probability that the second ball drawn is not yellow in color if the first ball drawn is red? So here we, are, we have been asked to find the probability of the second ball that we draw to not be yellow in color. So it can be green or it can be red in color but it should not be yellow in color. After drawing the first ball which is red in color. So now let's create the PCC here again and try to analyze this question. So the experiment that we are doing here is again the same. So we have the same setting and we have a bag in which we have put these 16 balls and we pick one ball out at random and then we keep it aside. And once we keep it aside, then we are trying to draw another ball from the bag. So the experiment that is here, uh, that, uh, that will put in the PCC here is the same. So draw two balls at random. Now the sample space of this particular question is again going to be very similar to what it was before. So here the question tells us that the first ball that we have drawn is red in color. So now after drawing the first ball, the balls that we will be left with will be 5 yellow balls, 3 red balls and 7 green balls because there were 4 red balls and we have drawn 1 red ball out. So the total number of balls that will be there now after drawing one out will be 15. So the sample space that will be here is the 5 yellow balls are still remaining. So the 5 yellow balls Then we have the 7 green balls which are still in the bag. We haven't drawn a green ball out. So the 7 green balls are there in the bag. And out of the 4 red balls that we had, we have drawn one already. So there are 3 red balls that are remaining. So the next time we draw a ball out, these are the options that we'll have. So now what is the favorable event here? Think about it. So now what we want to do is not draw a yellow ball. So we can either draw a green ball or we can draw a red ball. But yellow ball is not favorable to us. So as we can see there are 7 green balls left in the bag and 3 red balls left in the bag. And all the yellow balls are not favorable. So the favorable event set that we have 
is going to contain the seven green balls. And it can contain the three red balls. So this set represents all the cases which are favorable to our case, which is not drawing a yellow ball. So now the number of favorable events are the number of elementary events which are present in the favorable event set. So we have seven green balls plus three red balls. So a total of 10 balls are present in the favorable event back, favorable event set. So if we draw any of these 10 balls, we can say that we have a favorable event. So the number of favorable events are 10. Now the number of, what are the number of total events? So as we saw before, we have taken one ball out. So now there are 15 balls remaining in the bag. So the total number of events that can happen are, we can draw any of these 15 balls. So the total number of events will be 15. So this is inclusive of all the non-favorable cases as well. So the number of total events that we have are 15. Now you can calculate the probability, right? Now you are aware of how you can calculate the probability. So go ahead and try it yourself. So I hope you have got it right. We can see that the number of favorable events are 10 and the number of total events are 15. So we know that the probability is the ratio of these two values. So the probability here will be 10 upon 15. So 10 is the number of favorable events which is not drawing a yellow ball in the second attempt. And the total number of events are 15. So this is nothing but 2 by 3. So the probability of not drawing a yellow ball when we draw the first ball as a red ball is given by 2 by 3.